A very good morning to you. This is a Tech Guru where we look at all things technical. Today we're going to be looking at the TP Link, the TLWPA4220 AV500 power line extenders, specifically how to set them up. They come as a variety of packs, but basically you get the master socket here, which plugs into the power sockets in your room. This actually is hard linked to the actual router itself. And then you've got the power line extender, which basically goes in another room with a socket, where there's a socket. So basically, um, the idea being is it's great to use if you've got problems with your Wi-Fi coverage, i.e. if you're sort of quite away from the router and you can't get a good signal. Or if you want to use a hardwired sort of system, you can obviously have this next to the router, which I'll demonstrate later. And then this goes actually in another room, in, a diff in another socket, and then you can actually hardwire it using the Ethernet cables. So what I'll do is I'll demonstrate to you in a moment how to actually go about this. It's dead simple to do. Basically it comes out of the box and it's pretty much ready to sort of go with um, with a couple of sort of um, demonstration, demonstrations as to how to set it up. But as I say, it's fairly straightforward. By the way, if you like this video, um, please give us a like. And if you want to see more technical videos like this, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So in a moment we'll go to look at how to set it up. Okay, so we're going to demonstrate how to set up the actual power line network used in the master socket and the power line extender. Um, so firstly, if you take the master socket here, um, you can see that's where the uh, Ethernet cable is going on the bottom. On the side here, you can see a pairing button. I don't know if you can just see that there. So what we need to do is plug it into the wall, turn it on, okay? And as soon as it's on, we literally press the button for one second. Now you'll see the green light flashing here which indicates actually it's looking to pair. So again, on the actual uh, the extender socket, we've got the actual pair button here, and then the Ethernet um, outlet's coming there if you want a hardwired connection. You can obviously have Wi-Fi, but also a hardwired connection with this. So if you plug that in like that, okay, turn it on, you've got about two minutes to get them paired. So as soon as it comes on, if you press the pair button at the bottom for about um, a couple of seconds, and let that do its thing. As we can see there, you've got the power light. So you've got the uh, the power button flashing at the top, which is a good sign. Wait for that. To, oh, it's actually gone to hard green now. On here, you've got the actual power line. Um, light here. Um, if they're solid green it means that's good so it's good for both of those. Uh, the Wi-Fi um, connection here uh, if it flashes rapidly like that that means basically that it is um, working properly so that's fine so as you can see here now they're actually paired because you've got a solid green light here and here that's a solid green light and actually that's a solid green light as well so that's, it's as simple as that, ready to go. So all we need to do now is actually um, to put the Ethernet cable in. So if you take the cable, obviously coming out of the router one end, which mine is, and then this is the other end coming out. If you pop that into there like that, you can actually see that bottom light come on, which is the Ethernet light here, which is flashing, which is a good sign. Okay, so that means it's all ready to go. And then, um, I mean, this is a demonstration only, so you wouldn't have it to actually... Um, set up like this well you may do but unlikely i mean the extender would be in another room but basically we've got a connection here so if we plug that in there like that bear with me you can see now that that's actually solid green as well so um the ethernet is all working so it's all working correctly the wi-fi lights flashing here which means you can also have a wi-fi network as well um you can obviously turn that off as well if you want to by just keeping it held in if you don't want wi-fi for example what I do is I actually turn the Wi-Fi off here. So if we just literally press and hold that for about five seconds, you'll see um, that the Wi-Fi has actually gone off now. There you go. So you're working on a hard wide circuit now because the light's actually gone off. But obviously if you want it to work again,
So there we go. So I held the button for about 10 seconds there. So now it's back on again, the Wi-Fi, you can see it blinking. Obviously this is set up in the, the same room today for a demonstration because it's easier to demonstrate that way. But obviously what you do is if this is obviously needs to be near the router, which it is, um, but this obviously can go this because it's powered through the, um, the power circuitry in the house. It can go basically um, providing the wirings done correctly, of course. Um, it can go in any room in the house, which will obviously give you Wi-Fi in that area. As you can see, you've got the option to turn that off. Or um, you can have an Ethernet hardwire connection here, which is obviously more reliable. So you can do either or. But basically, that's it. It's all set up, ready to go uh, and, and job done. One thing I will mention with regard to the Wi-Fi, um, as demonstrated a minute ago, you actually will need to set that up on your computer. So obviously you find a Wi-Fi connection like you would do normally. But with the TP-Link sets, you get um, you get something like this, which is the card. So basically you've got the Wi-Fi name at the top, as you can see there. And you'll also get the Wi-Fi password. So literally, if you pop um, locate the, the Wi-Fi connection by its name and then just use the password which has been supplied, then you'll be able to log on to the network quite easily. Obviously, don't, don't lose that because um, you'll have problems. But yeah, just wanted to show you that. I hope you found it useful today. If there's obviously um, anything you found particularly useful, please um, drop a note in the description below. Um, but other than that, as I said earlier, if you like sort of the video, please give us a like. And if you want to see more tech videos like this, then please subscribe to my channel. But for now, goodbye and catch you later. Bye for now.